Hi, I'm Nelson Gradanis. I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in hip and knee replacement surgeries. I'm a research scientist at the Arthritis Research Center of Canada, and I'm an assistant professor in the Faculty of Medicine at the University of British Columbia. We have a big problem on our hands. More and more people are demanding hip and knee replacement surgeries each year. Last year, over 58,000 people in Canada needed these procedures. We have more and more competition for the remaining healthcare dollars. We need a solution. Minimally invasive surgery and limited incision techniques have improved surgical procedures to all parts of the body. Our research group looks specifically at a new surgical technique using a very limited incision to perform a hip replacement procedure. A number of renowned hip surgeons from across the country participated in this study. Patients received either the new minimally invasive technique or the surgeon's alternate standard. Our results are really quite interesting. All of the patients did very well. Patients reported high levels of quality of life, function, satisfaction with their surgical procedure. However, the new minimally invasive technique was associated with a higher risk of subsidence of the implant within the femoral shaft, as well as higher risk of fracture or reoperation. So while the minimally invasive techniques and the limited incisions may sound exciting, our study highlights some concerning features, and these certainly warrant discussion between patient and their surgeon when selecting the right technique for them. 